Good day Africa, this is Annabelle once again. Today I'll be talking to an entrepreneur who stands these difficult times from the lemon that he says into a lemonade. I'd like to remind you please subscribe, like this video so that we can be able to send more of this information to you. Maybe you can tell us something about yourself so that our clients can know you. My name is Teresa Nekesa mm -hmm. Wafula known as Nekesa in the industry. I'm a mother of two and, uh, and married. And I love fashion and the reason why I got into the fashion business. So I sell fabrics. And so my business is Pipiro GL and we are st selling online uh, through stara.vip. And we sell fabrics. Uh, we import uh, high quality authentic uh, cotton prints, African cotton prints specifically. And with the brands like Woodin, GTP, Vlisco, if you need Woven Kente, uh, we have that. Uh, we also have the traditional Asooke. So we have all those uh, nice African cotton prints that you can actually buy from us. And through stara.vip, you can be able to get some of these products to your homes. Uh, we also, through the COVID times, we've managed to get into the mask uh, stitching business and we do custom made masks. Uh, tailor made to fit you, not just uh, any other mask. So, so we have custom made masks, and uh, this is one of the masks that we have. And you can see how it fits. This one of the masks that we have. Yeah, that's beautiful. So we have this. We can screen print anything that you need. Um, we can do logos, we can do, um, you know, images, we can do words and we can do so much so we we are designing so many things so many uh designed uh designer masks that mm -hmm. you can you can have custom made for you and for your you know for your business for your business for okay something that will represent you mm -hmm. so this is one of our clients and we had um we had others that were made for them as well then we have this type of mask which is quite interesting and i love it myself because it's very easy to use it's actually velcro so you have velcro with it so you, you only need to have it on your on yourself and you click okay so, so you it's easy it. to wear and easy to remove easy to wear easy to remove mm -hmm. the only challenge right now i'm having is with my hair but you can see how it looks like mm -hmm. yeah so basically you just flip it over mm -hmm. and then you remove it okay very easy to use mm -hmm. um yeah, we can also custom make this uh, for you. We can custom make. So we can still print this on this. Okay. Yeah, so we can do whatever you want on your... You can have it in either the African print or in plain color, printed, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. You have the liberty to choose your colors. You have the liberty to choose whatever fabric we have in stock for you to stitch. Oh, yeah. And then the most interesting one, we know we are keeping fit during this COVID time just to ensure that we are breathing well, you know. We have this particular mask that we made, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and we have different types of fasteners with it. So this one has ties, but we have one that has for for Velcro. That one is already sold out, mm -hmm. and you can see it. this one. What you need to do is just tie it mm -hmm. when you're running. So you tie it, mm -hmm. and you can easily breathe. You can see you don't need to tie it at the bottom. So it allows you to breathe as you exercise. And that means you're, you're keeping yourself safe, mm -hmm. at least your neighbor. Because what we say about cloth masks is that they prevent you from spreading uh, the COVID-19. Because if you sneeze, it remains within mm -hmm. yourself. It doesn't go out. And the fact that they're three-layered, yes. we've done the spray test. We've done, we've done the, the, the air test just to blow and see if it, there's something coming out. And we realize that that doesn't come out because it's three-layered. Can we just have a look at the bottom side of that one? So it has this part to cover you. Yeah. So that's, uh, this is just to make it stylish for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that it covers this other part and just ensures that you're safe. Mm -hmm. But breathing is very uh, easy. And then for those who wear specs, mm -hmm. there's no misting. Mm -hmm. So if you most of, actually yeah. our masks are designed in a way that you cannot have misting with them. Okay. So we've taken care of the people who have issues with uh, like who are wearing glasses like some of us, and those who can breathe. We have ensured that we have an uh, like enough breathing space for you so you're able to breathe well 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is one of those must for runners. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can we can make for you different fasteners depending on what you want. Yeah, we can do the we can do the elastic, we can do the velcro, we can do the ties. Okay. So depending on what you want. Then we also have stylish masks for those who want. Some are embroidered, some are you know we mix some cool prints like this one. Mm-hmm. We have others, but I think for now they are out of stock because we only make we custom make. Mm-hmm. We don't keep them in stock, so whatever remains we can just showcase. Mm-hmm. So like this one, and the best part we like you to cover, so you have to go above your nose mm-hmm. and below your chin. Okay. So that you ensure that whatever is inside, uh, you know, remains there. Okay. And if you know, that suction, it shows it's a good mask. Mm-hmm. You can do the flame test with it and confirm if it actually blows the, you know, the flame. Mm-hmm. We've done that and it doesn't. So meaning it's equally a good mask. And you know what happens with cloth masks? You have to layer them. So like this one, as I said, is three layered. Then... Um, we have this one I love, mm-hmm. particularly because I can yeah. use it on reverse. <laughs> yes, so, I also like that one. It's so, very pretty. Yeah, so we yeah. have this one. You can do whatever cloth you, you want. You can, depending on your, again, test, mm-hmm. you can use whatever fabric you want. Mm-hmm. So we have this plain one. So you can do jungle green and then you can have something inside that is matching with the jungle green. Our straps, uh, we can we can actually make your straps at the back to match this, mm-hmm. so that when you turn it, it matches, and then we can have you know this matching the outside. And can someone have that in Velcro as well? Yes, yes, mm-hmm. you can. Okay. Yeah, you can have it in Velcro as well. So mm-hmm. you can put it on this way, mm-hmm. or you can turn it. You mm-hmm. can flip it if you're bored. You can flip it and still wear it on the opposite side. Mm-hmm. So you have two, it's very it's like beautiful. a two in one, yeah. you know, two in one mask. Mm-hmm. Then um, we are also working on uh, other masks. You know, considering the kind of environment we have, people the clubs have started opening. Mm. People want to go. They are working. They want to go out and eat. We don't want you having your mask and you know removing it mm-hmm. um, in the open. Yeah. So we advise you to. To get like this type of mask which you can when when you want to eat you can flip it mm-hmm. then have your meal flip it back uh, okay yeah and uh, that can also be one both sides or no this okay. one unfortunately is just one-sided okay yeah and uh yeah we are trying to make them as safe as we can yeah just to ensure that you 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 are safe when you're mm-hmm. wearing them okay and especially uh, safety first for your neighbor mm-hmm. we say mind your neighbor first i like that one also like if you're using a straw and stuff like that it's yeah. easy yeah and mm-hmm. a spoon can easily get in because you just yeah flip it. you just flip it up yeah and then yeah. you don't need to remove it you know masks are also you know carrying around a mask mm-hmm. is not really something you want to do yeah. especially in public yes then we have we have this type of mask they are mm-hmm. fully kitenge Mm-hmm. So um, the beauty with our mask is that we always try to ensure that the kitenge is of high quality. It's a hundred percent cotton. Uh, okay, so that means they will not fade. Not necessarily. Mm-hmm. There are those that will not fade, like mm-hmm. for a particular brand. Like if you're talking about a mask from Woodin, mm-hmm. a fabric for Woodin or Blisco or GTP, mm-hmm. those will not fade even ten years from now. They yeah. still remain the same. Okay. Um, we have the Ankara. Like during the COVID time, we couldn't source from outside, mm-hmm. so we could not import. So we use the local fabrics. But yeah. we had to look now for a hundred percent cotton. What we would do is wash them before we we stitched, mm. just to ensure for one thing that they are not running when they get to the client, yes. and also they are not shrinking. Okay, because you know that shrinking also you might fit. You say it fits you, and then when you wash, it's sh- shrinking, so mm. it doesn't fit you anymore. <laughs> anymore yeah. yeah. So we had we had these two layered masks, and two layered masks are specific. No, we targeted people who probably might not be able to afford the three three layered masks or mm. these other masks that we've talked about. Mm-hmm. So we made. Um, Two layered mask with a flip at the back, mm-hmm. so you can see. So somebody can insert something in the middle just to create that three layered mask. And Effect, then, yeah. Yeah, then you put it on. Mm-hmm. See? Still same. Our masks are very unique. Uh, we tie them at the bottom. bottom. We don't tie them up here. Why? Because we realized, you know, you don't want to have ties all over your head. You made your hair style. Yeah. So we try to to make it. Uh, 
be tied just below the ears and at the bottom. So if you have your nice hairstyle, you can still have it. Yeah. No one will see the fla the ties, ties and everything. Yeah. yeah, you can still have this in uh, in elastic, like for example, this what we have. Mm -hmm. Like this is a three layer. Oops, see it came off. Three layered mm -hmm. mask. Uh, just pause. I bring another one. Oh. So we have these ones, which are also kitenge. This fully kitenge, but it has elastic. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you something unique about this one. So this is a bit larger. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we, as I said, we design for different types of faces. Mm -hmm. So we have large ones, we have small ones, we have medium for different faces. So mm. if you're our client, you can also say and see how unique this is. Yeah. The end of the day, you, can you can also reverse yeah, this it's so like cool the other one. It has just a little bit of kitenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then you can wear it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it also. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we try to make them uh, reversible for the mm. fact that, you know, not everybody likes kitenge, but you know, there are those times when you just want to feel African, you can mm. turn it and then you wear it as a kitenge. Okay. Then um, we have our last one. We are still working on so many, you know, prototypes. This is also one that I love because it's really African and I like wearing it. This is actually what I was wearing even before. Mm -hmm. So this is something that I love. Mm hmm so close to the earth then our mass our fabrics have names mm -hmm. so like for example this is a kit kinta kunte print. Mm -hmm. so if you're asking for for a print then you say i would like a mask in kinta kunte we'll send you the catalog this is a um, spring harvest mm -hmm. um this is reggae fever mm -hmm. um this is green peas because it has peas on it mm -hmm. yeah then whatever I'm wearing is uh, Tropical Thunder. So, okay. yeah, so it has different names. Yeah. And then we have this. Uh, we are getting into the, we are actually in the winter. <laughs> of um, Africa. So, <laughs> of Africa, of, of the Sub-Saharan. Mm -hmm. So we have one that has fleece. It's actually mm. reversible. So it has fleece and then it has kitenge at the bottom. This is for kids. Mm. We know that kids, uh, if you give a kid a mask, they will not return home with it. Mm -hmm. So we try to make it part of it. We are still working on other designs. This is just one of them. Mm -hmm. So this will be part of the mask and this will be a hoodie. So okay. it can still be one as a scarf and as a mask at mm -hmm. the same time. Okay. So uh, I can see you've really thought through your products very well. Um, what is different about this business than what you've done before? What strategies have you employed in this business? Other than what you've done before, because mm -hmm. I know there are people who rushed into this and already they are not making money with the mask business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what have you done differently? So for us, it's about listening to our clients. You know, some when you sit down with a client and they tell you, uh, like I remember the first time I, I sat, because for us, we make the strap kind of um, Mask, the ones with straps. Mm. The first time I sat down with my clients, is they they mentioned about the elastic and they were complaining how the elastics are hurting their ears. Mm -hmm. So we thought, what can we do to make our customers happy? We mm -hmm. did the straps, mm -hmm. but then the first straps we used to tie them on top of our head and the other one below the neck, just like the doctor's masks. Mm -hmm. The the what are they called? The um, Surgi the surgical masks. Mm -hmm. Then you know you realize that this is not really funky this is fashion mm -hmm. then you have to now custom make it to to actually fit into your you know wardrobe yeah so we now say no we have to put them below so that when you tie you tie them and they can you can hide them with your hair mm -hmm. if you're a woman because no woman wants to walk around town with not even a man <laughs> wants to walk around with yeah. things tied on their head so that then now the idea of the velcro came because mm -hmm. of the men mm -hmm. you know men don't have hair Mm -hmm. So we had to make something that would be comfortable for the men. But again, the women are loving that Velcro. Mm -hmm. So that's how we've moved. And then over time also, we've, we've, uh, we, we are, I'm a member of the Kenya Fashion Council. The business is also a member of the Fe Kenya Fashion Council. Mm -hmm. So we exchange ideas, we, like exchanging masks, just to you know, critique each other's masks and also borrow from the other. Mm -hmm. So over time, we've learned what kind of elastic to use. Mm -hmm. So we use soft elastic. That mm -hmm. is comfortable around the ears. Mm -hmm. Then you also and have it's to not measure. too wide, also. Yeah, not too wide, mm -hmm. not too hard, mm -hmm. and also the 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 measurement. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure that you measure the the, the 
elastic very well so that it fits around the ear and mm. not tight. You know, it could be comfortable, the comfortable type, but because of the length, mm-hmm. then it makes the wearer be, you know, very mm. uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you're trying to cut down on cost by reducing it. Yeah. So we try to make sure that we, you know, we make our elastic very comfortable around the ear. Mm-hmm. We try to get as much in information from the, from the client as much as possible. Mm-hmm. We have different sizes, mm-hmm. which makes it even better because if you tell me, you you are a medium or a large or a small then i'm able to know or a round face or an oval face then i'm able to know what type of mask to stitch for you okay yeah so we custom make and that's yeah. why they are you know we've evolved over time it's not just a one size fits all yeah it's uh it, it's different clients different types of masks okay yeah. how would you say your history in other businesses have contributed to this particular business um, patience <laughs> yes learning over time you know mm-hmm. patience you have to be patient some clients you send them products they return them mm-hmm. so you have to really learn how to be patient you have to learn you have to have re- uh, return uh, like um, goods return policy mm-hmm. how to replace mm-hmm. you know sometimes you have to replace your goods i've done that with fabric mm-hmm. so i've learned and translated that also in masks Mm-hmm. So sometimes you send to a client and they say no this color is not the way it looked like in the picture mm-hmm. so can you please check something else so we have to replace for them so mm-hmm. you have to have a, re- a goods return policy in mm-hmm. place how do you handle such because of course it touches on your loss on some it can your bottom you have, line yeah, yeah bottom line so you have to really know mm-hmm. if i am sending if i'm posting my product mm-hmm. how do i cost it in such a way that if there's a replacement mm. i do not really get hurt as a business okay so you learn as you move all right and also through sharing with yeah. other people in the in the industry uh, yeah. i'm not originally a trained fashion person yeah <laughs> so i'm in agriculture that's mm-hmm. what i have studied and that's what i practice mm. but just being in this industry and having people you can look up to to mm-hmm. work with you has mm-hmm. really helped a lot okay yeah well thank you is there any other parting shot that you may have for entrepreneurs out there and for customers yes uh, so yes i have uh, i have some information to share with my clients and, mm-hmm. and you know potential businesses uh stay safe sanitize social distance uh Visit stara.vip, buy our products, buy Kenya, build Kenya. Wow, that's a good message. Thank you. Okay, that was Terry. I'm sure you learned a lot about her business and from her, uh, about her experience in business. I really love the masks that she has shown us. They're very unique, very well thought out. So remember, the f- one of the rules of business is that you listen to your customers. The lessons you've learned from your past business doesn't mean you're a failure. They are lessons. So apply them in the new businesses that you create and support other entrepreneurs. Belong to a network of entrepreneurs so that you learn from each other. There's experiences you've had that are good for you and that will be good for someone else. And the same with them. There's something that you can learn from. So, see you next time on BT Life, and I look forward to the next entrepreneur we'll be talking to.